In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for lead to acetate plus potassium bromide. So for net ionic equations, the first thing we do is balance the molecular equation. There's one bromine here, and then we have two of them here. So let's put a two here. Now we have two potassium atoms. Let's just put a two here. Those are balanced, but now this acetate ion here, we have two of those. That's okay though, because we have two acetate ions right here. Those are balanced, and then one lead, and then a lead here. So we've balanced the molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. Acetates are very soluble. We're going to write AQ because they're going to dissolve, break apart into its ions. Potassium bromide. Bromides, very soluble. Potassium compounds, also soluble. Aqueous. We have another acetate here. This is potassium acetate. That'll be soluble. But whenever I see a lead compound bonded to something like bromine, iodine, chlorine, I want to be careful. So if I look this up on a solubility table, it'll say it's slightly soluble. And for the purpose of net ionic equations, we consider slightly soluble to be insoluble. So this will be a solid. When these two substances react, this will form the solid. That'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So we have the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. So we have we don't really know what the lead is. We have to look at what it's bonded to. And this whole acetate ion here will have a one minus charge. Since we have two of them, lead has to be two plus. So we have the PB two plus ion. And I'll write aqueous at the end. Let's not write that at this point. And then I have two acetate ions. For the KBr here, potassium group one has a one plus charge in the bromine one minus. So we're going to have two potassium ions and then two of the bromide ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have the positive and then this whole acetate is negative. Two potassium ions again plus two of these acetate ions and then for the lead to bromide, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. We just have PBBr2. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So we're going to cross out things that are the same on both sides. Here in the reactants, I have acetate. And in the products, I have two acetates, both in the reactants and products. Cross those out. Two potassium ions here two potassium ions here. What's left, that's going to be the net ionic equation for lead to acetate plus potassium bromide. Let me clean this up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for lead to acetate plus potassium bromide. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have two plus here, two times the one minus, that's two minus. So they give us a net charge of zero. And then on this side, we have a net charge of zero as well. And the atoms are also balanced. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for PbC2H3O2-2 plus KBr. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.